today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and yes it's going to be a makeup tutorial I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever and if you guys follow me on Twitter or on my vlog channel you'll know that I've been dealing with this crazy skin rash I don't even know what it was I think it was my allergies it possibly could have been eczema because I had to go to the doctor for it and I don't even know basically my skin my eyelids and my neck were so dry red irritated peeling the works long story short I've been dealing with that since the middle of February so yeah that's why I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever because literally my skin on my eyelids was peeling peeling in flakes and chunks it was so bad um, but thank god my skin is pretty much back to normal it's still super dry I don't know what it is but it's not peeling to the point where it would be impossible for me to do a makeup tutorial so I'm just so happy because this is the look that I wanted to do for so long for you guys the look that I'm going to be doing today incorporates the Call Me Bubbles quad from MAC which was released um, pretty early in the spring I wore this look to iMAT so if any of you guys saw me in iMAT so this is the makeup that I was wearing and also I wore this makeup to my birthday this past weekend so that was a lot of fun um, I love the colors of it I think that it's so fun but still very wearable it's basically just kind of like an orangey pinkish peachy eye and it's still so so wearable I think that anyone can pull these colors off and on a side note as you can see yes my walls are still green um, but not for long so I really can't tell you guys when the next time I'll be posting on this channel will be hopefully it'll be soon um, but I did film my room tour so hopefully that will be up um, I was kind of rushed to do it because if you can only see like the rest of my room right now it's pretty much empty like there's nothing in here um, which is kind of sad and kind of depressing but anyway yeah, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys um, the current status of the whole moving situation for those of you guys who are interested but anyway let's go ahead and get into the tutorial I've missed you guys I hope you guys like this look let me know if you do and if you want to learn how to create it then just keep on watching to start this look I'm just going to be taking my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and I'm just going to be blending a little bit of this all over my eyelids as well as bringing it along my lower lash line and the palette that I'm going to be using to create this look is the Call Me Bubbles quad from MAC which looks like this but I'm actually going to be taking the Naked 2 palette for my very first color which is a Booty Call, this color here. You can use the first color in the quad um, but I just prefer Booty Call over that specific color and I'm just going to be taking a flat shader brush like this and I'm going to be packing that first color all over my lids up to my crease. Since I'm a neutral girl, instead of just throwing color all over my eyes, I like to kind of infuse it with my already loved neutral colors. So now I'm just going to be taking a really big fluffy brush like this and I'm going to be taking the second color which is called Full of Flavor. It's kind of like a matte coral color and I'm just going to be using this big fluffy brush to really blend that into my crease. And this color is really interesting. It's kind of like a pinky coral color. It's matte like I said and it's just beautiful as a crease color. Now taking a crease brush, here I'm using the MAC 217, I'm just going to be picking up that third color which is called Fresh Daily. It's kind of like a frosty tangerine color. I love this color. I'm going to be applying this onto the outer portions of my eye, so kind of starting halfway um, and working my way outwards. I'm really just going to focus on building that color intensity. So I'm just going to be blending it out, working into my outer corner as well as into the outer portion of my eye. And now I'm going to be taking a fluffy blending brush like this just to kind of clean up any harsh edges and this is also going to allow all the colors to kind of blend really beautifully into each other. Now I'm going to be selecting the darkest color in the quad which is called Brash and it's just a really shimmery coppery color. I absolutely love how this color complements the other three colors. It's very interesting how all of these colors kind of work together which is why this is the only palette that I actually picked up from that collection. But anyway, I am just going to be popping a little bit of this into the outer V of my eye just for a little bit of subtle definition and dimension. I think that this color can be easily overpowered so a little bit of it goes a long way and again I'm just going to be blending just kind of getting rid of any harsh edges and now with a smudger brush like this I'm going to be taking all three of those colors along my lower lash line so starting out with fresh daily which was that tangerine color I'm going to be working that in small strokes along my lower lash line completely just filling the entire area and now I'm going to be picking up that matte coral color which was called Full of Flavor and I'm going to be blending that into the Fresh Daily in the inner portion of my lower lash line. Stopping about halfway like so. 
And then finally, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of brush and working that into the outer portion of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to be connecting it with the little bit of brush that I put into my outer corner to kind of blend everything together. And now I'm going to be taking Whiskey from Urban Decay, which is just a brown eye coal. I'm going to be running that along my upper lash line. And I'm going to be using brown instead of black because it's going to be less, less harsh. And then I'm going to be taking Max Espresso eyeshadow with a little pencil brush like so. And I'm just going to be smoking out that liner, just making it seem really natural and it's going to seem really effortless. I always say that you have to have a little bit of patience to do this because it does take some time to blend out the liner really nicely. And then I'm going to be taking the same brown eye coal to tight line my eyes. And then I'm going to be selecting a white eye coal from Revlon and I'm going to be placing that in my waterline. Sorry for the bad uh, angle, you guys. And now I'm going to be curling my eyes in preparation for mascara, which is something I'm trying to get into the habit of. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes with two coats of my Bad Gal Lash Mascara, which is my all-time favorite mascara. I love it, and I always come back to it, it seems like. For cheeks, I'm going to start out by taking my Harmony Blush from MAC, which is just a matte kind of medium brown color, and I'm going to be using this to contour my cheeks using a Sephora Professional brush that looks like that. I'm just going to be kind of blending that into the hollows of my cheeks just to kind of give my face some slight definition. And then for my actual cheek color, I'm going to be taking Fleur Power from MAC, which is my new spring and summer favorite blush. It's just a corally pink color. I'm going to be taking a 129 brush from MAC, and I'm going to be placing this color on the apples of my cheeks, working it backwards, and kind of blending it in with the harmony that I had previously placed. Moving on to the lips, first I'm just going to be applying some chapstick from the Maybelline Baby Lips line. And for eye masks, all I wore was this lip gloss from MAC. It's called Tour de Fabulous, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be applying some lipstick, and I'm going to be applying Watch Me Simmer from MAC. It's just a amplified, corally pink color, so I'm just going to be patting a little bit of this color. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way because it is an amplified color, so just a little bit of it. And then I'm going to be topping off that color with the Tour de Fabulous lip gloss from MAC. Again, both of these would work by themselves, but I really do like the combination of them together. And that is it for this tutorial, you guys. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it as much as I do. Please let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below, and thank you guys so much for watching. Alright you guys, so that was it for this tutorial. I hope you guys really loved it. If you did, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. I love you guys. Thank you guys as always for watching. You guys are the best. And I hope that you guys are doing well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!